How to Create Narrated PowerPoint Presentations is part of a series of online demonstrations of material that can be found on the CEL Open Resource Repository. In this workshop, we'll explore tips before you begin, recording narration, removing recordings, reducing the file size of presentations, saving narrated PowerPoints, uploading your PowerPoint presentation to Learn, and linking your PowerPoint presentation to your page in Learn. So some tips before you begin. For best results, recording should be done in a carpeted room or a room with a large area rug. If that's not your current reality, that's okay. You could put down a large comforter or some pillows on the floor. Really what we're looking to do is to dampen the noise, which is gonna help reduce the room echo. Uh, you also want to eliminate background noises such as fans or lights. And try to select a time of day when children, pets are more likely to be quieter inside the home. So you can really aim to reduce the amount of background noise and distractions that could be picked up during your recording. Any other devices in the room that you aren't using for recording should be muted or powered off so that doesn't introduce any additional noises or hums from electronics into your recording. In terms of recording accessories, we recommend that you use an external microphone or one that's part of a headset. Built-in microphones can pick up sounds of your computer fan, so an external microphone is really the better choice doesn't need to be anything super expensive or sophisticated. The headset that I'm using right now was recently purchased off Amazon around the $40 mark, and I found the quality actually is quite good. You'll need to ensure that your microphone and headphones are set up properly so that PowerPoint knows which device to serve as your microphone and which device should serve as your playback for recorded audio. So to do this, we're gonna make sure your microphone and headphones are plugged into your computer. And on your PC, you're going to search for sound settings. And this will come up. And you're going to see you have an option to select your output device, which is currently set to my headset. And my input device, which again is set to my headset, so the microphone on my headset. And you can see that my audio is getting picked up here. OK, let's go ahead and open PowerPoint. So once you've created your slides and set up any animations, we're going to go to the slideshow tab here at the top. Open that up and we're going to click on record slideshow. When we click on that, we see two options, record from current slide and record from beginning. We're just going to click on record from beginning because it looks like I'm on slide two right now and we want to narrate all of the slides. So once I click on record slideshow, two windows come up, a preview window and a recording window. So what I'm showing you right here is the recording window. And we're going to take a quick look at the interface. So we see the record button up top here. We see stop and replay. Next to that, the notes section. So including your notes in here, you could put it as your script or bulleted points. It's good practice. It can help you minimize uh, recording mistakes. It does get packaged with your presentation, also helps to keep you on track, and provides a consistent experience from an accessibility perspective. And we have the ability to format um, some basic formatting options for our script notes. Next to that, we see we can clear existing recordings, and we can set which devices are set for our microphone and camera. We also have the ability to enable or disable our microphone and video camera. Some options along the bottom here include the pen, highlighter, and eraser tools, which you can use directly on your slides. You could even simulate a whiteboard effect if you like by having a blank slide and using these drawing tools on your slide as a whiteboard. We also see that you have forward and back buttons to advance your slides or to go back if you need to re-record a slide. So let's try doing a recording. I'm gonna click record. How to create narrated PowerPoint presentations for Windows. And this is my slide two. I'm gonna grab the highlighter tool and I'm just gonna highlight this point right here. And my slide number three, grab the pen tool and maybe I'm pointing to something 
or I'm drawing something here. Click next and we'll see end of slideshow, click to exit. So I'll do that. So let's launch that and see what we have. How to create narrated PowerPoint presentations for Windows. And this is my slide two. I'm gonna grab the highlighter tool and I'm just gonna highlight this point right here. And my slide number three, grab the pen tool and maybe I'm pointing to something or I'm drawing something here. Notice now that there's an audio icon in the bottom right corner of each of my slides, indicating that each slide does have narration. If I click, I can listen to it. How to create narrated PowerPoint presentations for Windows. Then if I navigate here to my slide two, you see where I've actually drawn on and highlighted. And then this is where I was using this slide as my whiteboard. So in terms of clearing recordings, let's say I didn't like a particular slide and I needed to redo it, or I wanted to clear them from my whole presentation, up here on Record Slideshow, there's an option to clear, clear narration on current slide, or clear narrations on all slides. Now just keep in mind, if you do clear narrations on your slides, it will also delete what you've drawn. So the whiteboard here in my highlighting would be deleted if I chose to delete the narration from this slide. Okay, so I'm quite happy with this presentation. I'm going to uh, save this and upload it into my course. But before I do that, I do want to look at compressing the media in this presentation. So I'm going to go to File and then Info. And I see an option here to compress media. So I'm going to click on this and choose Full HD. And it's going to run the compression tool. And I'm going to click close. So let's go ahead and save our presentation. I'm going to go to file, save as, and I'm going to browse to the location I'd like to save it. And I already have one saved here. I'm just going to save over that. So test presentation. I'm going to make sure it's saved as PowerPoint presentation. And perfect. It's good to go. So let's go ahead and launch learn. So here's my course. I do need to upload my file into my course before I can link it. So I'm going to go to course admin, manage files. And I've already created a presentation folder here for my file. So I'm going to open that up and click upload. And here's my presentation file. So I'll click open. and save. So with my file uploaded in my course, I can go ahead and link to it from my page. So I'll go to content. Here's my page. So I'll open that up. And I'd like my link to appear here under my content section. So I'll click on edit HTML. And I'd like my link to appear right here. So I'm going to take up the word presentation for now and click on the insert quick link tool. And I'm going to browse to my course file, which is in course file presentations. And there it is. So instead of clicking on it from here, which would include a link title with the title of my file name here, which is quite ugly, I'm going to click on options. And I'm just going to rename it as test presentation. I do want to change the target to same frame, which will prompt a download of the presentation for the student when they click that link. So I'll click insert and there's my link. I've also included the file type behind it. So I'll go save and close. And there's my link. So let's click on that and I see that it's downloaded here. So let's launch that and see what we have. And there you have it.
I'd like to thank you for your interest in this workshop. Please visit the links that we provided on the Open Resource Repository page for more information about this workshop, as well as other workshops that may be of use to you in creating your course content.